Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray's Aerospace and X4 Foundations. We are here at the Silicon Carbide Mill where I had acquired some illegal hardware, a uh, AGI module, and we are going to try to deliver it to the people who are interested in it. So let us undock. Well, there's an in one, but I'm going out. It seems to be okay. So yes, we are going to try to find out what these people are up to. Okay, so I'm supposed to deliver it by docking to this. Hold on. Okinawa research. Oberth. Okay, so this is the Oberth. It is an Okinawa. Wow. Not the best plume on the back of it, but of course I'm coming from a special place when it comes to plumes. Okay, well, uh, I'm afraid it's going to ram me. Um, it doesn't look like I can ask to dock, so Goodbye. I'm just going to shift D. Docking granted. Okay, please don't move around too much. Oh, there we go. Successfully docked. Okay, Cigars Pioneers. Um, I can't trade. I guess we can get up and talk to somebody. Oh, there's a little line. Oh, okay, we're going down. Well, this guy's going down too. Okay. Okay, Rick Feynman. Deliver. AGI processor. You're just in time. We're about ready to disembark. Oh, he's very shiny, I feel. I don't know. Okay. I guess we are uh, going along with him. We're on our way towards a facility very important to the future of our people. It recently suffered structural damage due to some unknown spatial distortion. That's why you've been brought in. Our resources are limited, but our people are exceptional. I welcome you to the team. Unfortunately, our limited resources force us You've to got a huge ship for having a limited of resources. Satellites have been targeted by Xenon. While we managed to intercept the attackers, several satellites have been left in a state of disrepair. I will assign a number of satellites for you to return to working order. This ship is going Let's all over the place. Satellites. Repair satellites to 100%. Why is it always satellites? Hmm. Important questions. Okay, we just have to repair three to. Oh gosh. Daisuke Goto took the elevator first. Got a huge wing on my ship. I'll have to figure out how to change the logo. That was a thing even in X1, about well, X Beyond the Frontier. We could change the logo on our ship and stations. Big ship. But yeah, huge wing considering. Well, hopefully it dissipates heat or something. Maybe it's just a big radiator. Alright, let's find these satellites. Where are we anyway? Brennan's Triumph. Oh geez, we've really traveled. Not in Soul System anymore. The sensor net is also used to keep tabs on Terran Protectorate activity in their sectors. Go ahead and repair it. Well, sure, why not? Take action later. Why wouldn't they be keeping an eye on you when they're you're in their sectors? It doesn't seem to change. Oh, it's already repaired. All right. Yeah, um, the way it's hitting the target doesn't seem to change very much. Ukraine. When it's actually working on the repair, like, you know, there's no sparks flying out or something like that. Is that how I hit my ship? Okay. <laughs> Sloppy, but okay. wonder if there's a way to one-step the getting out in a spacesuit bit. This should be close enough to just zap it, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Lots of silicon carbide mills. I wonder if some of those asteroids Altered. are good with the silicon. Uh, I'm gonna go do not ask again on the, am I sure about the spacesuit. 30 meters it seems. Talk to Rick Feynman. Docking granted. See, I can do repairs. Where's Rick Feynman? Totally qualified. Manticore. Whoa, 222 kilometers. Sort of have a privileged position here docking at this slot. Not like they can have many people dock here. Luxury docking bay. Successfully docked. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to go out and have a chat. Can't just talk from my ship. Now that that's out of the way, we can find really shiny with our outfit. Task. I can hardly wait. Okay, what are they up to? Cutscene. I don't Docking know. Complete. It, okay, that was just conveying travel. And here we are. As you know, this is a high security facility. Just because you have clearance to do your job, it doesn't mean you can go wandering off or touch everything. It is currently unmanned and in safe mode until we can repair the damage and ensure no further anomalies occur. Do you know what causes those anomalies? I can't move my camera or anything. Such information, frozen. But rest assured, you will be safe to perform your duties. We begin by repairing the external structure. Get into your spacesuits and prepare to be guided to your assigned positions. Repair damage. Okay. Okay. I guess there's locations at which we will repair damage. Laser tower, mark laser tower, mark one. Laser towers. Okay, that one's repaired. What well, if we repair this and it turns out to be a Death Star or something? Or, you know, knock off Death Star. Well, that's a lot of sparks coming from this one. Okay, that one got cleared up. The broken bits sort of disappear when we've got it all healed. Go. All right. Uh, We're picking up strange readings again. You better get back to the ship. Strange readings. Okay. Well, first, I need to get back to my ship. Uh oh. Uh oh. My ship. Uh oh. Things are happening. No, I'm still in my spacesuit. Oh, scripted disaster. I think. Uh oh. No. Where's my ship? On the other side of the tear. Wait. It does seem that our what large artificial structure? Discovery. Assistant? Assistant? What assistant? Can you hear me? The only large artificial structures the one we were repairing. Hmm. And what is this? Who's even talking? That's headquarters. Are you all right? Oh, we've met some other people. Where am I? Oh, Taladi. That's a Taladi, huh? You know what a Taladi is. Well, you don't look like the way you used to, but My name is it's okay. Some might call me one of the foremost minds of the current age. <laughs> Everyone knew I existed, that is. But never mind that. 
Did you perhaps get pulled through the rift along with this station? Now, now, let us keep a calm demeanor. Otherwise, your oxygen intake may increase rapidly. I will send the ship to your location. I do hope you will tell me where you have come from. First, I want my ship back. Dock at Kestrel Sentinel. Well, Rungisas. I can't pronounce a lot of names very well. Uh, Luligos. Galerias. Oh, no, yeah, let's not. Well, it seems like I own that Kestrel Sentinel. And that's nice of the guy. Oh! My little spacesuit actually has an afterburner? I didn't think it did when I was uh, ejected after a fight. It didn't seem to have an afterburner. I pressed tab and everything, but maybe I didn't press tab correctly. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Docking ground. Please get aboard the ship that I have directed to your location. Yes, yes, I'm doing that. That I just got docking permission. Oh. It appears you are sufficiently safe. Well, it's not mine. He's still in here. Am I correct in assuming that you have some connection to this station? I have already begun to remotely interface Or with that guy's the captain anyway. Gain significant access. I have oh so many questions I would like answered. But unfortunately, it seems I must go. You see, I am not currently supposed to be working on this project. It appears that I am at a disadvantage and find myself in trusting stewardship of the station. I've got a whole station now? Ha! For all I know, you are an enemy agent, already privy to the inner workings of this facility. No, I just got here. Please do not use it for nefarious purposes while I am absent. This guy sure is trusty. Build dock area. Oh, we got we have a whole Station and we get to uh, be told how to build things. You need blueprints to build station modules. If you have credits, you can bl buy blueprints. I didn't finish reading that. I'm gonna take command. Hello. Thank you. Yes. Well, looks like it's mine after all. How fast does it go? Um, apparently, I've got a marine on this Kestrel and the captain that's the captain the marine doesn't have a portrait and there's this Liam Long a manager at Grand Exchange Headquarters Grand Exchange Headquarters is apparently the station I don't know how I got bandages or rapid sand filter now total value of stations is zero right now <laughs> Uh, total value of ships is pretty good. Hired personnel 3. I hope they don't get that much salary. Hmm. Good thing we had just finished repairing it. The... I wonder... I have a big station. I was sort of hoping to work up to it, though. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to dock to the asteroid portion of it. Docking not possible. Has target has no docks fitting my ship size, so we're gonna have to fix that. Blueprints, huh? Plan build. First, place a new dock module. You can put it wherever you desire. Um, does this fit the Kestrel I Sentinel? I imaginary star points for attaching it to the structure. But you are, of course, free to express your artistic oh. virtuosity. Artistic vi virtuosity, I like that. But, uh... Do these... These should cost money, right? That is... Whoa. Pier... Seems to be rather large. Screen like that. Station modules can be free floating or connected to other modules at certain snap locations. And then it has a build status, everything is fine there. Okay, right click is to get rid of it. 
used by large ships to dock. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, I probably shouldn't. This luxury one. Small and medium ships. And this one is also small and medium ships. Not enough resources to build the first new module. Oh, it's got Claytronics, energy cells, hull parts, com Computronic substrate, well now we know what that's for, and silicon carbide too, and energy cells. Not that much though, assuming that's what is required to build it. That's not that much. There is no peer module on the station. So we need a peer module? Is what you're saying? Oh, it can snap to that one. But then it seems to be interfered with with this one, I think. Mm, remove. Remove. Okay, now it's clear. I th thought. Hmm. That peer module is huge. So now it says everything okay because we have a peer module. But uh, it seems a little bit red. There's a distance being red there, but I don't know what that corresponds to actually. So it'd be clear from the station bits, but then it looks red like this. So I'm guessing that's probably not necessary. I don't know. It says everything is okay, just not enough resources. No, like if I can tuck it right there, that'd be nice. Production modules, energy cells. Well, then we get free energy cells, right? And we need like thousands, so. Well, turn energy cell production. It doesn't tell me how much it's going to produce though. Can I duplicate that? Copy module. I don't know if we have some sort of symmetry thingy here, but... I don't know how much these will produce, so whether I should have them at all. But I like having free energy cells. That's for sure. I don't know if there's a good place to put them. I'm just experimenting. Oh no, I meant to have those changes. Shoot. Oh great. And we've been floating. Well, I guess I can get a look at the base from a distance. Oh, don't run into an asteroid. It's got like a field around it, like it's got a magnetic field around it, it's got something going on. Wow, this thing is fast, this, one, this thing uh, in the travel mode can go more than 3000 meters per second, it's much better than my previous ship. First, place a new dock module. Okay, I was you doing that. Oh, will Terran High Command think of me getting freebies from the Taladi? How they feel the about that, I wonder. Shows nothing unusual. Okay, I just wanted to copy and paste that, but... It's got little arrows there now. Confirm module changes. Okay, fine. To the construction site. Wait, it didn't I put the solar panel. The estimated construction budget. Assign a builder to start construction. Builders. Assign or hire a builder. Notice how your map interface is automatically filtering for the correct ship type. If you expand the scope of your map, you may be able to spot one of these contractors just wandering about. If you have no luck, consider deploying more satellites to improve your visual range and inch even closer to omniscience. Construction vessel Kyushu. All right. Well, it's a Terran. Provided that you have allocated sufficient funds to the construction site, other traders will now begin to deliver the required materials. 
You can observe the containers being stockpiled at the build storage. Estimated price to build all resources, 2.2 million. Of the station build plot. I haven't assigned enough resources. But without the... The most expensive thing is the... Big docking pier. And without that, I don't know if the construction vessel can, can deliver the resources, so... We sort of need more money to build this then, huh? Not enough resources to build the fir build first new module. Yeah, seems that way. I should blow up something that has Claytronics in it and pick that up. <laughs> I still didn't get my solar panels. I had placed some solar panel, but it didn't put that on. So we have a station, but it doesn't work. <laughs> and I don't know what it will do when it works. But, bright side, we have a new ship. And this new ship is really fast in its default speed and then in its... Whatchamacallit, travel speed. What's its max speed like this? Take some time for it to accelerate though. 3,270. And we have a headquarters at Grand Exchange, which is a nice place. I mean, I assume this is Grand Exchange. So it's actually over here. I thought it was still over there, but it's over here. We have uh, headquarters in Grand Exchange. I have no idea how to get back to anywhere else, except apparently there was a Terran construction ship around here, so can't be too bad. I think we should explore, definitely. So we've been suddenly thrust into a unknown region of space and we should figure out what's going on here. There are lots of asteroids. The blue ones are ice, maybe? Probably. I need a mining laser. Our our base is really big <laughs> and conspicuous. It's got these rings around it. How do I know it's not gonna disappear after I've brought all the resources and tried to build it up again, huh? Hope oh, the rock in the middle of it has some something to mine that we can use. This is all very mysterious. Whatever happened to those pioneer peoples? Are they gonna want this thing back? So many questions. I gather that the Taladi aren't thrilled with me being here because they're not Desert exactly in Vanguard. green. Enemy, actually. Minus 15. They're not gonna bother me at minus 15, but they're not happy. Okay, let's find a gate. Well, there's a highway. Super highway, unknown sector. I don't want to accidentally wander into some xenon sector, but Grand Exchange was sort of in the middle of things, if I recall. And I, I don't know if the sectors are all sort of similar or anything, but yeah, my uh, my station is really conspicuous. Okay, so we're in this, and we're out. Oop. Oh, it's Grand Exchange 4, it's Entering like that. Entering Grand Exchange 4. So, we have Grand Exchange 1, and there's Grand Exchange 4. Same planet, different orbit, basically. Oh, there's a station. Albatross. Oh no, Vanguard. that's a construction vessel. Tilati company, but neutral. It's not quite as peeved at me being here. I mean, we seem to be in very tiny areas in these sectors. You can sort of see other ships going through the superhighway, which is nifty. Uh, there's other ships going off in that direction. Well, there's a station over there. Satellite. 
Oh, I see a gate over there. Do we have any mission at this point? Open briefing. Apparently pulled through some space special rift. Uh, along with the mysterious pioneer station, you must find your way to safety. Okay, well, build dock area. Well, they're very adamant about that. Okay, jump gate, where do you go? Alligator, gas, jump gate, unknown sector. Entering system, 18 billion. Oh, 18 billion. It's familiar. Well, we should just follow other ships and see where they go. There's one going off over there. Magpie Sentinel. Albatross Sentinel. Uh, I see another gate over there. Lots of stations here. Yeah, you know, well, there's multiple gates in this system, so we will see. Laser Tower Mark One. Laser towers, yes, those Turn. are bad to tangle Vanguard. with. Turn. Talati Station Security Vessel A. Hold on, hold on. Pelican Claytronics Factory. Oh, Claytronics, we needed some of those. Silicon Refinery. Silicon Refinery. Claytronics Factory. It seems neutral. Pilati Station Mass Transporter F Short Range Transporter. Oh, there was C. a criminal Pilati mass Station transporter. Security vessel A. Well, let's see. Docking granted. Oh, docking granted. Yeah, there's a criminal vessel over there. I don't know. I guess my police license operates in Tilati territory. I don't know how do how do I even know it's criminal? There's a lot of little things floating around. Successfully docked. Okay, trade. Welcome. Oh, Claytronics is like 2,000. That'd be 80,000 worth of Claytronics if I get 38 of them. All right, so, but how do we do we, how, can I check how many we need at the station? Oh yeah, the purchase of the construction vessels help. I don't know how long the construction vessel is going to help us and when we might need to pay 50000 again. I mean, I guess I'm a little bit confused. I can't actually dock at the station, so I wouldn't be able to deliver the Claytronics myself, right? But then how does the construction vessel deliver? I guess it's got little bots to deliver the stuff. I'm not sure. I guess we'll just have to get the straight cash in order to build the modules. I can't deliver the stuff myself, I think. Hmm. I'm tempted to try to buy some of this Claytronic stuff and try to deliver it and see if it works. But I'm guessing I can't do that. So I'm buying two. I, I, it's not... Just, just as a test. But I'm not going to do that yet. Let's see some of the other gates that we have nearby. There's one right in front of us. This is a nifty docking platform. Easy to get in and out of. Graphene refinery. Graphene refinery. Talati defense platform. Okay. All right. Well, there aren't Xenon pouring out of it, and there are other people going into it, so it's probably safe. This thing recharges its shield slash afterburner stuff really slowly. Entering Data system. Vault. Silent Witness. Silent Witness. I don't recall that sector. Antimatter Converter Factory. Antimatter Converter Factory. Container. Hmm. Security bypass system. Average price. Basic seminar management. Does it worth something? <laughs> management seminar is worth something? Hmm, I don't know. 
Well, I guess the data vault includes the container. Okay. I'm guessing I can't just suck this in. Hmm. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm gonna take a closer look Hello. at an EV. Oh, heck, Best the cap, that guy's Sentinel. still here. He was just sitting in the transporter room. No, that doesn't seem accessible right now. You're not a container anymore? I mean, now it's like the data vault. But it doesn't have that container. So I'm guessing I can't get the container like this. Destrel. Sentinel. Uh, the, the way the computer pronounces these ships' names is weird sometimes. Kestrel. Nice storage on it, too. It's fast, it's got nice storage. Well, it's really busy around here. Sorry, I'm taking command. I need to get him in a uniform of some kind. Okay, so wait. Container. Okay, there's definitely a container, but... Let me suck you up with O. Gosh, that, that thing just... Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. Okay, I haven't picked anything up yet. That thing just smashed into this data vault, didn't it? Nothing found. You're free to go. This container there, but... I'm guessing the whole thing is a container. I don't know. Is it something inside? Hmm. I want this 400,000. It's money. But yeah, I'm guessing that's not happening. And if I shoot it, I'm gonna make more enemies. Did it seem like... Are we in an Argon sector? Because the police guy was sort of an Argon. Silent Witness. It's blue. I guess that means Argon. Okay, well I'm gonna leave the data vault alone. We've got some more exploring to do, but I think I'll wrap it up for this episode. So we've got assets now. We've got a better ship, and we've got a station in progress. However, I'm a little bit iffy on how we got these things. Like, I, I was hoping to work my way up to a station and purchase one at a shipyard and have it have it delivered and everything like in the old days, but I'm not too sure that's how that works these days. So I guess we... But, no, I mean, you have to have some way of starting it, so I'm sure there is that way of doing things. Hmm. But we'll work with it and see what happens. We are in the middle of sectors that we are not familiar with, far away from the Terran system, and we will see what we can make of it. It is time to explore. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.